K-I-L-R Killer Games Here we are! The Killer Nerd Gamers, I am the Killer Gamer. And I'm Nerd Gamer 2000. Yes, and we're here to present Spy Hunter. This is the arcade game. There's both a sit down version and a stand up version. I don't know if you've seen them both. I know I haven't. Ah. I wasn't sure if you've seen them like at a, you know, like one of those pizza places or, you know, retro places that have arcade games. I think it might be hard just to find that sit-down one these days, but, yeah, you can find the stand-up one. Okay, so we're going to talk about the history of Spy Hunter. It was released by Bally Midway in 1983. It was a pioneering driving shooting game that became a classic. It was developed by George Gomez, who also did Tron, Narc, the pinball uh, game Monster Bash, and then also The Lord of the Rings. I did not know Tron was made by the same, same person. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's interesting how research goes a long way. The music from... Spy Hunter is taken from Peter the the show Peter Gunn, which was done by Henry Mancini, or it might be Mancini. Like pepperoncini. Like like pepperoni. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. All right, here are some fun facts about Spy Hunter. George Gomez was inspired by James Bond music, so the idea was to make this a uh, James Bond type of uh, game. So when he designed the game, he sketched out the in-game map on a long scroll of drawing paper. <laughs> you know, Really long. You know what's funny is that they actually had a racing game before this that was actually on a scroll of paper and it would, it would uh, roll uh, roll continuously and would have this plastic car and you would have to You'd have, like, a little thing to have to move the car back and forth. Yeah, it was a steering wheel. Yeah. But, yeah, that was before the actual video game thing, so... <laughs> dating myself. Anyway, so the game was originally going to be based directly off of James Bond, and it would have the James Bond theme playing, but they couldn't acquire the license for it. All right, so ports of the game. It was ported to the Atari 2600, the ColecoVision, the ZX Spectrum, the Commodore 64, the IBM PC, and the Nintendo Entertainment System. Sequels to Spy Hunter. There was Spy Hunter 2 in 1987. There was an arcade game. Spy Hunter. <laughs> remember that one? PlayStation, uh, The PlayStation oh, yeah. 2? I still have it on emulator. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, we played that quite a bit back then. That was kind of cool. That's my childhood game. All right, and then Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. I And that's got The Rock. Uh, I don't, can't remember if I bought that or not. I don't recognize that one. I mean, I do recognize it, but I don't think I bought it. But, yeah. All right, the gameplay of Spy Hunter. For those of you who don't know, Spy Hunter puts players in control of a high-tech spy car equipped with weapons and gadgets like oil oil slicks and missiles and smoke screen. They're tasked with navigating through enemy infested roads to complete various missions. The game features a top-down perspective, allowing players to see the road and the obstacles ahead. The car known as the Interceptor is armed with machine guns, oil slicks, smoke screens, and missile launchers to fend off enemy vehicles. The goal is to drive as far as possible, which I can't seem to do, yeah. avoiding civilian vehicles while destroying enemy cars and motorcycles that try to take down the Interceptor. 
Avoiding civilians is the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. Let's play. All right. Time for some Spy Hunter here. <laughs> I I do remember uh, in the arcade, I used to get to the point where the car turns into the boat. And then you're on the water and stuff. And your machine guns... Uh, no, the oil slick turns into fire. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool, but it's been a long time, and I've been practicing with this lately, and I still can't even get that far. <laughs> I've never gotten that far. All right. Oh, what, does it not play the song anymore? No, it just plays it, like, once. Aww. It'll start again. Oh, when you reach the checkpoint? Basically, it's the weapons van. Ah! What is it? What's up with that? Hey, there he is. That's just the, uh... Weapons van will be over here to the side. There he is. Welp. Uh-oh. Come on. Aww. <laughs> I swear this game cheats. Yeah, they're like ramming you off the Whoa, what? <laughs> I was trying to ram zoom. him off the road. I wound up going off the road instead. You had the zoomies. Hit that car. Yeah, I know. That one's like really annoying. Come on. Now I can get even with oil slick. <laughs> you just attacked him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be behind you for the oil stuff. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Started off with a bang. This game is actually meant to... Well, they do have a... My goodness. There we go. You gotta be careful not to go too fast, because then that happens. So if you're slow, you just bump into them? Yeah. If you go the other direction, you'll get the smoke screen. Ah, okay. I didn't know each side mattered. Oh, he's just pushing your corpse. <laughs> what is going on? Is this on expert mode? This game is expert mode. 
Hey, you did. Mm, I feel like it used to be easier for some reason. I I know. I don't know. Got a little too excited. Not too fast. Okay, let's, what in the? I know. I don't know. That, that happens to me sometimes too. Okay, I was gonna say if that happened again. I want to take this nice and slow. Or not. <laughs> I don't want to run out of time. That's so the key that I've learned is don't put your foot all the way down on the accelerator. Just put it down nice and easy. Oh, when I didn't you, know that. When you're in high gear. If you get into the grass too much, it's it, ah! <laughs> it's going to do that. Oh no, everything. Now it's all backwards. You gotta be careful, don't get... You're like, you're allowed to get into that brown part, but once you get into that green part, it's gonna suck you in there. Come on. No! no! gear in there. There, you there go. we go. I wasn't sure if that would explode or not. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> really I can't do it when changing the gears. You're going too fast. I can't do it when changing the gears. know this game takes two quarters. That's what I remember. I remember it taking two quarters. Don't put your foot down on the accelerator all the way. My foot's <laughs> on in the low. That, well, that's what happens when I don't. I mean, you gotta barely touch that accelerator when you're in high gear. Otherwise, you're... Your car rockets are like paralleling forwards so quick. There you go. You got it. Stay on the road. <laughs> Trying. Stay on the road, you'll be good. Trying. No. You have machine guns. <laughs> what I do? I told you, yeah, they're 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 this thing. I thought right you here. had to go to the to the thingy. No. No, you, you start with machine guns. Oh, I didn't. Try them. There you go. Oh. Not so fast. I'm not going fast. Oh, come here. Come here. your oil slick and then you don't have it again and then you run into the car in front of you <laughs> or you run into a tree whoa oh, well or you run off to the side that too ah <laughs> okay there folks that was the arcade version of spy hunter uh, maybe sometime in the future we'll check out one of the console versions but until then, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell because you know you want to. Always. And leave comments. Do also. it. Also, you know you can leave comments and say, "Dude, you suck," 
I'm better than you. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Uh, how far did you get in Spy Hunter? How uh, many is, quarters have you spent? Uh, how many quarters did you spend? Uh, is there an end to it? I don't even know. Maybe, maybe we need to look up a, a long play of Spy Hunter. And see if there's actually an end? Pe- yeah, and of people that can actually play it. Like speed running it? Yeah. That would be satisfying. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video. Have a killer, awesome day.